joining us. Now a tale of courage from the Olympics. It's what happened in Mexico Olympics in 1968. Over an hour after the men's marathon had ended, a runner who was bleeding and struggling with a dislocated knee entered the stadium to finish his race. Yes, the incident is now known as the greatest last place finish in the Olympics history. Well, the man in question was John Stephen Aquari from Tanzania. He's retired now and has become a farmer. Our reporter Sami Awami caught up with him. Personally, when it comes to athletics, I give it all my heart, my patriotism. This is what pushed me to finish that race, even though I was injured. And then you came up with this very famous quote that has become very inspirational, not only in the sports world, uh, but even beyond that. How did that event change your life? People have learned a lot from that incident, mostly people outside my country. They use it to teach their children, they use it to train their athletes, even in schools. Although here in my country, not so much. Your country, Tanzania, is performing poorly in these games. How does that make you feel? I feel bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. Sports leaders don't want to change. If, for instance, they see the team has had a poor performance this year, they need to find other ways of finding success in the next competition and bring pride to the country. And lastly, what do you consider as your biggest achievement in your sports career? My biggest moment was finishing second in the Athens Marathon in 1963. That's uh, John Stephen Aquari, an athlete from Tanzania. I'm from Tanzania myself, and sometimes I wish I'd become an athlete rather than a presenter. <laughs> Such an inspiring story, Piers. Yeah, there's hope for us all if we finish last. We'll be uh, on telly in, in the years to come. <laughs> and that's it from Focus on Africa from me, Salim Kikeke. And me, Piers Edwards. Goodbye.